Hello my schoolers, this is my school channel and my name is Abiola. For this video lesson, we are going to be going through the Jam CBT past question for the subject biology that year 2010. Do not go anywhere, stay with us and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school YouTube channel. For this video lesson, we are going to go through the questions 1 to 25. So let's start with question 1. So if a child can receive blood from all donors, it belongs to the blood group what? Okay, so we have the universal donors, we have the universal recipients. So if you look at it, um, those that can receive from all other blood groups, okay, they are referred to as the group AB. Now, if you are talking about blood groups, you know, we are talking about the antigens and the antibodies present. So, on the blood group A, on the surface of the red blood cell, you have the antigen A, then the antibody B, right, in the plasma. So, for AB, blood group AB, to be able to receive from all blood groups, okay, as you can see, if a child can receive blood from all donors, that means it can receive from blood group A, blood group B, blood group O, and even AB itself. It's because there are no antibodies present in the plasma of the blood group AB. So, AB, universal acceptor, if you want to put it that way, then group O, universal donor. So, the correct option is option B for blood group AB. Question 2. Which of the following is not a function of the nucleus of a cell? All right, so that should be option C. Okay, this is a reservoir of energy for the cell. We know that the mitochondria is responsible for um, energy, right? Energy for the cell, you know, um, respiration, the presence of respiration. That's where respiration takes place and energy is being released, all right? And we know, uh, we can refer to the mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell. So this particular property or this particular function that we are seeing here it is actually reserved for the mitochondria so option c is the correct option because it is not one of the function of the nucleus of a cell question three the dominant phase in the life cycle of a fern is the adult sporophyte. All right, so this is actually the dominant phase. And we now have the sexual phase, which is the gametophyte. You know, right there, we refer to the anteridion, that's for the sperm, then the archegonium, that is for the egg. All right, and the allocation, you have it on the prothallus. All right, so when we talk about a fern, we are looking at the phylum of pteridophytes. All right, these are land plants with roots, with stems. Okay, you can refer to those stems as rhizome and the leaves. Okay, you can call the leaves front. So basically, I can say they are land plants with roots, with rhizomes and fronts. All right, so they are spore bearing and they are non flowering plants. So the correct option here is the option B, the adult sporophyte. That is where you have the dominant phase. So option B is the right option. Question four. Okay, so we have parental care is exhibited by. Okay, now you can find parental care is present in the classifications of birds and mammals. Okay, so when you talk about reptiles, fishes, amphibians, in most cases, it is absent. So the correct option is option C for birds. Five. Which of the following groups of cells is devoid of true nuclei? All right, so. Be a correct option here is uh, option B for Muniras. Okay, when you talk about we're talking about bacteria, we're talking about blue green algae. Okay, they are the simplest living organism. Their cell structure is simple, of course, but no definite nucleus. All right, so the chromosome just lie freely in a particular part of the cell. So the correct option here is option B for Munira. So option B is the right option. Six. Which of the following is true of the transverse section of a dicot stem? Okay, so we are looking at dicot and monocot. Uh, dicot led or monocot led for full. So, so we have um, the xylem is more interiorly located than the phloem. So when you are considering a dicot stem, right, you know, we have the vascular bundle and it is made up of the um, xylem, the cambium, then the phloem. 
all right so what you are going to eat first if you are coming from the outside okay so you are going to eat the phloem then the cambium is between the phloem and the xylem so that means the xylem is more interiorly located than the phloem so this is accurate let's look at b okay the cambium lies between the cortex and the vascular bundle so the cortex i'm talking about parenchyma and sclerenchyma so of course um you can see that the cambium actually lies between the phloem and the xylem all right, so this is incorrect. This is correct. So let's look at C. The vascular bundles are ran, uh, randomly scattered within the cortex. This is incorrect as this is a characteristic that is attached or that can be assigned or aligned with monocots. All right. So we look at D, the, epi, the epidermis is completely encycled by the cortex. This is incorrect. The cortex is actually encycled, enclosed within the epidermis, if you are coming from the outermost layer. So the correct option is option A. The xylem is more interiorly located than the flare. Question 7. Which of the following is lacking in the diet of a person with kwashiorkor? All right, so when we talk about protein deficiency, you can talk about two. Okay, then just talk about two um, basic ones. All right, so we are looking at kwashoko and marasmus. All right, so kwashoko, you can notice that in children, you know, when you look between the ages of one to four, all right, this is because such uh, children are placed on starchy diet. So most times it's lacking in proteins. All right, so the correct option is option A for proteins. Question eight. The mode of nutrition of sundew and bladder warts and venous flytrap, okay, they can be referred to as the holozoic form of nutrition. All right, so you know you are you are talking about setup whereby these plants actually feed on insects. All right, so they use different mechanisms to trap these insects, okay, and use them for food. All right, so when you look at chemosynthesis, okay, it's actually placed under autotrophic kind of nutrition. No chemosynthesis, photosynthesis, you can position them here. All right, so when you talk about saprophytism, okay, you can find that when it comes to um, organisms like fungi. All right, so the correct placement here is the mode of nutrition of sundew and bladder wort can be described as holozoic form of nutrition. So option B is the right option. Question nine. When a mixture of food substance and Benedict solution was warmed, okay, so the solution changed from blue to brick red. This indicates the presence of simple reducing sugar. So either we use Benedict solution or use Felin solution. All right, so let's come to fatty acid. Basically, we are talking about fat. So to test for fat, we can use Sudan 3. All right, or you can use the translucent uh, paper test. All right, when it comes to sucrose, we are talking about complex sugar. At first, you have to hydrolyze using an acid, okay, before you can introduce felling solution. All right, so when it comes to amino acid, I'm talking about proteins. So for proteins, you can use the millions reagent or the burate. Uh, you can use the burate test or the millions test, okay. So the correct option is option A. You are testing for simple reducing sugar. So either you notice brick red or orange red, you are still on point. So the correct option is option A for reducing sugar. Question 10. The primary structure responsible for pumping blood for circulation through the mammalian circulatory system is the what? It is the left ventricle. Now this opens up to the aortic um, valve or you can say it opens up into the aorta, okay, which is responsible for uh, pumping blood, right? all around the body parts except the lungs and of course the left ventricle is thicker than the right ventricle you know because of the contraction so that this blood can actually flow all right so the correct option is option d for left ventricle you should be able to read in between the lines not to mistake this functionality for the arteries all right so the correct option is option d for the left ventricles number 11 Circulation of blood to all parts of the body except the lungs is through the world. It's through the systemic circulation, you know. The blood flows from the heart to all body parts except the lungs, then back to the heart. Of course, that phenomenon is referred to as the double circulation. All right, you know, the blood has to flow through the heart twice before it completes a circuit. So when it involves the heart and all other uh, body parts, then back to the heart, that is systemic. But if it's between the lungs and the heart, 
okay so that is the pulmonary uh, circulation not the pulmonary artery place all right so when we have the lymphatic system you know we are talking about um, organ system we're talking about vessels tissues organs in the body that actually are concerned with the transport of the lymph all right and they are also associated with the circulatory system as well so the correct option is option b for the systemic circulation question 12 Yeast respires anaerobically to convert simple sugars to carbon dioxide and what? So when you look at the chemistry of this reaction, you know, when yeast is added, all right, you know, you're talking about fermentation process, probably you want to produce alcohol, you know, in the industrial preparation of um, that stuff. Okay, so uh, when yeast is added, you know, yeast contains two enzymes, okay? So we are looking at the maltase, which converts the maltose to glucose, then the zimase, all right? So the zimase now decomposes the glucose to ethanol and your carbon four oxide. So if you go back to this question with that explanation, we have yeast respires anaerobically to convert simple sugar to what? ethanol and carbon dioxide. So, and we know that ethanol is an alcohol. So we have option A as the correct option. Having a jam CBT experience before your jam exam itself, it's a very wonderful thing to do. So all you just need to do is to click on the link in the description below. It's going to get you to the MySchool website, okay? Right there you get to download the MySchool mobile app for your Android devices. Or you can try out our MySchool software for your laptops and your computers. So join me as we solve question 13. So, the sheet of muscle that separates the thoracic and the abdominal cavities is the what? The diaphragm. This is the last sheet of muscle. All right. Okay. So, uh, when you look at the intercostal muscle, it's actually found in between the ribs. All right. These two are very essential when it comes to breathing. Okay. So, when you talk about the plural membrane, all right, the plural membrane, you know, the lungs, they have been surrounded, okay, and enclosed. They have been surrounded within the ribs, okay, and of course, it is enclosed inside this um, plural membrane, all right. This is airtight and it is wonderful. It is waterproof as well. So, this is essential when it comes to the lungs uh, protection as well. So, when you look at the pericardium, you know, this offers protection for the heart. So, we know that the heart and the lungs, of course, you know, they are enclosed within the ribs okay so let me take it again the diaphragm is actually what you find that separate the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity all right intercostal muscle is found in between the ribs all right so the plural membrane the enclosure okay when it comes to the lungs it is airtight and waterproof pericardium it protects the heart all right so the correct option once again is option a for the diaphragm we know you are enjoying this video but we need you to always hit that like button for us also click on the subscribe button and always tap that bell notification so you can get alert immediately we upload the next video lesson just for you question 14 the oily substance that is the sebum okay that lubricates the mammalian air to keep it flexible and water repellent and also to keep out dust and microbes okay secreted by the what the sebaceous gland okay the sweat gland that is sweat basically the fatty cells you know these are responsible for storage of food okay and as well they provide insulation okay then we talk about the granular layer this consists of um, living cells that are constantly pushed up from the malpighian layer so the correct option is option b for the sebaceous glands question 15 the outer layer of the kidney where the Bowman's capsule are found is the what? All right, so the kidney, you are talking about two distinct regions, the outer cortex, okay, and the inner medulla. All right, so looking at this, the outer layer, that is, of course, the cortex, okay, because the urinary tube, that is the functional unit of a kidney, isn't it? So, and it begins like a cup-like structure, all right, in the cortex, and you refer to that structure as the Bowman's capsule all right although this opens up to the convoluted tubules and and the like so basically let's just take what we have here so the outer layer of the kidney where the bowman's capsule are found is the cortex or trafiltration or cause here so the correct option is option a for the cortex 16 which of the following stimuli is likely to elicit a nastic response in an organism so when you look at nastic response you are talking about part of a plant okay that gives response to a non-directional stimuli 
an example of such stimuli you are talking about humidity temperature light intensity so of course you have the Q and that is option B for light intensity 17 in the male reproductive system of a mammal sperm is stored in the epididermis all right so this is because the sperm produced you know specifically in the seminiferous tubules in the testes all right they are passively carried to the spots that's where they mature into motile sperms all right and they are being conducted via the sperm dots or the vas deferent okay into the urethra the urethra is actually what leads to the exterior parts of the body so it carries um, this carries urine and sperm okay at to the exterior all right so in the male reproductive system of a mama the sperm is stored in option c so option c is the correct option question 18 chemosynthetic organisms okay what are the examples of chemosynthetic organisms we're talking about nitrosomonas nitrobacters ion bacteria okay so chemosynthetic organisms are capable of manufacturing their food from simple inorganic substances through the process of oxidation you know oxidation of these inorganic substances all right actually provide or serves as the source of energy in the state of sunlight okay so you get that now so once this oxidation of this inorganic substance happens then there is allowance for the biological conversion of uh, carbon containing compounds okay so that they can convert these to organic materials for use all right so chemosynthetic organisms are capable of manufacturing their food from simple inorganic substances through the process of oxidation so option a is the correct option 19 the part of the human gut that has an acidic content is the stomach all right so you know what is coming from the tiling the tongue right is alkaline in nature so when it comes to the stomach it's acidic you know there are two important um, enzymes from the gastric juice in the stomach we're talking about the pepsin and the renin the pepsin for protein the renin for milk all right so the pepsin works best in an acidic medium so the part of the human gut that has an acidic content is the stomach all right so when they say human gut you're talking about the alimentary canal so you just have to be able to relate yourself with different concepts that may be used so option a is the right option 20 which of the above structures is correctly matched with the organisms in which it is found okay stomata no that is for plants okay alveoli that is the air sac for gaseous exchange in the lungs okay so and that's for um animals or let me say mammals in this context the mapikian tubule that is for insects all right um, then we have the contractile vacuum for protozoas you know protozoas the animal like protist examples are your amoeba and your paramecium so we know amoeba has um, contractor vacuum to get rid of excess water that enters into its cell. So the correct one that is matched is this IV, contractor vacuum to protozoa, amoeba as a case study. So IV, where do we have IV? We have that in option D. So option D is the correct option. Do not forget that you can ask your questions right now. So how do you do that? Very simple. All you just need to do, click on the link in the description below. It's going to get you to the My School website. Right there, you get to write, ask your questions on the spot. And our team of experts are going to help you out. So join me as we solve question 21. So if food chain always begin with what? With a what? Okay, so food chain, you know, you are talking about a feeding pathway whereby there's two way where you try to observe the transfer of energy and nutrients all right so a food chain always begins with a what with the primary producer all right though preferably in food chains you know you just have to specify the organism not really its role per se okay like for instance you know when you look at the food chain you know you talk about say, grasses to grasshopper you can see the names have been mentioned not uh, particular about uh, the being one being the primary producer the next the primary consumer and the likes so but definitely it begins with the producer so to be specific primary producer so option c is the right option here yeah. We believe that you may have better steps that you would like to share with us we have so much open all you just need to do is to use that comment section below okay indicate the question number and the solutions you like to share 22 
Mycorrhiza promotes plant growth by what? Okay, so we are talking about association between a fungus and plants. Okay, root of other plants. Okay, so this is what actually happens. Now, the fungus acts like the plant root eggs. Okay, it helps to absorb inorganic substances from the soil, then to the plants. Then in turn, the plant supplies organic nutrients to the fungus. All right, so mycorrhiza promotes plant growth by absorbing inorganic ions from the soil. So option A is the correct option. 23. The barrier between the maternal and the fetal blood is the what? Okay, the placenta. The placenta is a selective barrier. Okay, so we should also know that um, the placenta is responsible okay for the production of hormones like your progesterone and estrogen you know the progesterone actually maintains the uterus okay so that it will not contract especially before time although there will be reduction in such production close to the um the time of birth a few weeks to the time of birth so that that contraction can actually happen to help uh, push the baby out and the placenta of course it comes out after birth you know after the child is out then the placenta follows or should follow so the correct option is option a for the placenta 24 the blood component that has the greatest affinity for oxygen that is your erythrocytes or the red blood cell because of hemoglobin all right so um the lymphocytes you are talking about that type of white blood cell okay that actually produce your antibodies Okay, so let's come to the leukocytes. We're talking about the white blood cells, you know, their body defense system. Okay, the thrombocytes or the platelets. That is the clotting of blood. Okay, so the accurate option is option C for the erythrocytes or the red blood cell. Question 25. Which of the following organisms is mainly found in the marine habitat? So when we talk about some common tropical open sea fishes we are looking at sharks we are looking at croaker we are looking at sea catfish and this dogfish you no know, this dogfish is actually a kind of um shark okay when it comes to their diet you know they are not selective all right so this is the correct option when you look at um, ashantina okay we are talking about um, giant land snails so land snails so the correct option is option c for the dog fish so we've come to the end of this video lesson but there are definitely more wonderful content to come all you just need to do is to hit that like button click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification for you to get alerts immediately we upload the next video lesson just for you